Hi, I'm Zareen Khan. Welcome to my show, Spices and Secrets. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey of the most fantastic Khan cuisine, which is made for all of you with pure love in our hearts. You know, India is very diverse and its cultures are diverse too. We have Eastern cultures, Western cultures, Northern and South India. And the same goes for the food. My own recipes are a mixture of Mughlai and Parsi cuisine with a little twist of the South Indian flavor. Our close friends request us for the foods that they like and we usually oblige whenever they come to our homes. Today we have two guests who are as different as chalk and cheese. One is a tornado and the other is poise and calm. Mix the two ingredients and see what cooks. But before that, I'm going to take you into my kitchen and prepare a new dish called Dahiwala Bengan, specially for you. Now pay close attention to how I prepare the Dahiwale Bengan. First, I put the pan on the stove, then I take oil. Now as the oil is heating, take a Bengan, brinjal as we call it, this size, it should not be smaller or bigger and cut it into nice round slices. So here we go and they should be about a quarter inch thick. Bengad is one vegetable that if well made, it's delicious. We have bengan ka bharta, we have this dahi wale bengan. So it's a question of how you prepare this dish, especially vegetarians enjoy this dish very much. This is the round slice of the brinjal. Now we gently put this in to fry. The flame must be always high because you want them to be deep fried. Now these have got to be well, well fried. Until these are fried, keep it on this tissue paper to soak out all the extra oil. And then of course, we finalize the dish. As we go along, you will see the same. Bengans taste good in any formation. This is a Persian dish and it's very cooling and also very soothing. And hence, I'm sure you will love it. This dish is very easy to prepare and quick to make. Now the bengan is just beginning to sizzle. So it's done. So I'm going to take this out and put it onto the tissue to drain out all the excess oil. Did you know that bengans are also a very popular dish in France, in Spain, in Italy, also in China. But I don't think their dishes come out as tasty as our Indian bengan dishes. You know why? Because we have those spices which really bring out the taste of the vegetable and it's never totally bland. Now I think the bengan is ready. So we are going to remove this one by one and place it on the tissue paper to drain out all the excess oil. So here we go. You know, you can make out that the bengan is ready because it gets a lovely golden color and not black. Be careful, otherwise it gets burnt. So here we go, one by one. I pick them back again and put them on the serving dish, like this. One of the easiest dishes actually. And the preparation time is only about 15 minutes. There we go. They are placed nicely here. As you can see them, this is just the way it is. Now see what happens. Now the bengan is well placed on the serving dish. So take some yogurt and this is what we do to make it look very appealing. We spread the yogurt 
on each of the pieces just enough that the bengan is also seen there that's what you have and lastly you start sprinkling the spices the special spices which we indians are famous for we start with the pepper that is the kali miri we sprinkle the pepper on the see then it is the jeera powder the jeera powder goes next that brings in the taste the flavor because jeera definitely gives a special taste and last for the color and the spice of life the lal mirchi see look at the color coming on the various shades of the indian spices and the last the final bit is for the color is the coriander See this this is the ready dish of the dahi wale bengan and if you missed anything here's the recap For dahi wala bengan take one large brinjal cut it into roundels of half inch thickness each then deep fry them place the fried slices on a kitchen paper to drain the excess oil now place the fried brinjal slices on a serving plate Pour the yogurt on the brinjal slices, black pepper powder, cumin powder, red chili powder, and finely chopped fresh coriander. Your dahi wala bengan is ready to serve. Welcome back. Today's guest is Sajid Khan, a person who I've known from the time before he entered the film industry. He's a filmmaker, he's a scriptwriter, he's a host and he's also a stand-up comedian. Sajid and his sister Farah are hilarious and hence I did not bring them together on the show or else they would have taken over. Hi, Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? You want me to come from here? Come from here. How are you doing? Fine. How are you? So nice. I met Jagdish Mali outside. He gave me this. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. One more present for me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is a small gift from Farah and me. <laughs> How did you get this? I stole it from here. <laughs> and when did you steal this? Uh, when I was getting ready. Saj, I've given you such a heavy build-up. So I hope you're going to be a naughty with me on the set today. I I I I'll do anything you say, but you know my heavy build up. It's because I put on weight. <laughs> See, <laughs> but thanks so much for calling me on Spices and Secrets with Zareen Khan. I don't even get invited for my building meetings on Sundays. <laughs> I wanted you specially to come here because I've known you since you were a little guy, and your mom and all. We go back to so many years, you know. Yeah, I just want to tell all the viewers out there that. Um, Most of Farah's wedding plans uh, happened in her house. Yes. Most of the catering was done by her. <laughs> the mirchi ka salan, which she makes, is the best mirchi ka salan ever. Thank you so much. The entire film industry talks about the beauty of the food cooked in the house. It just doesn't taste good. It also looks very good. Thank you. Thank you. But it's it's very nice food, and I'm very excited to be here. Do I get to eat something? Of course, we are going to go shortly. We'll go in, but first, I want to ask you one question. Yes. What is this thing about the letter H? All your films are with letter H. Himmat wala, Hey baby, Houseful, uh, God knows so many others. No, I, I I made five films huh. in seven years, huh. and uh, all of them began with H. Hey baby was originally titled Hey baby. Huh. Houseful was the correct title. Huh. Uh, Himmat wala because I was remaking Himmat wala. <laughs> and Hamshakal, the title was given to me by Ritesh. I wanted uh, to call the movie Langoors, sort of a homage to oh. Gulzar Sahab's Angoors, uh -huh. but he gave the title. Uh -huh. And I think anybody who has a DVD collection or a Blu-ray collection, I don't think a lot of people out there would like to have my movies on uh -huh. DVD or Blu-ray. But for me, at least, uh -huh. I keep them in the H section, so it wow. makes my life a little easier uh -huh. to keep it alphabetically placed. Uh -huh. But my next one is uh, not with H? an H. Uh, no? no, it's not with H. Uh -huh. uh, my next one is called Dudes. It's with a D. Wow! Yes, yeah, it's a comedy action film. Okay. Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing that because all I your films, so. you know, Sajid's films. My God, you just have to roll over with laughter. They go on and on. I must say that. Uh, huh? not, Sometimes a little over mad, but yes, they're still yeah. fun. Not so much with my last two films. They huh. did not do my magic at the box office, huh. and then my mom stopped cooking food at <laughs> home. 
So I I used you to go. You should call me. Yeah, I, I tried. I, I I rang your doorbell, huh? but I think Hamshakal was playing on uh, TV, and you already opened the door for me. No, next time I'll be sure to open the door for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But Thank you so now... much for inviting me on the show. Wow. <laughs> this is this is a beautiful candle. Can I can I can I can I borrow it just in I case believe... of a electricity power cut in my building? I believe you are in the habit of stealing items no, from I'm, the set. No, I don't so... steal things. I openly tell people that I'm very poor and I need this candle. Yes, <laughs> this is a beautiful candle. I could sell it off for what? As long as it's not in the five hundred bucks for this candle. <laughs> this is an outrage. I refuse to pay this much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sajid, you're such a happy person that I love you very, very much. I love I, you too. But let me tell you, I know that you are only cook noodles yes. and that to the two-minute ones. But I cook it in like thirty minutes. But now I'm going to ask you to help me cook your favorite, the, the chicken khurma. If I'll be cooking, then people <laughs> will be puking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but, I will cook. You will be my assistant. Yes, I'd love to go. I'd okay? love to be your assistant. Okay. So, chalo, let's go. All right, let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. First, we put a pan on the fire and then put some oil. Now, this yes. oil is getting ready. Yes. We are going to cut the onions. Oh, okay? Yes, yes. See? There, we there, cut there. Wow, wow, all wow. the onions. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, we put all the onions that are cut into this pan. See? We put in some elaichi. 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 Wow. I'm a very big fan of elaichi. And we put some That's little pudina, dalchini, pudina? dalchini, dalchini, dalchini. Two pieces of dalchini, the lawang. We will put in the adrak and the lasan, huh? Okay. So we put in say about one and a half teaspoons of adrak, two teaspoons of the garlic. And now you you want to pour this into yes, this? Yes, I'll, 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 I'll do the chicken. Yeah. Put it. Put pour the whole lot. Should I wash this? No, no, you don't have to wash. Don't worry. <laughs> Sajid, yes, yes, see now it's all being browned nicely with the onions and the chicken and the adrak and the lesson. Mm. But what we've got to add the salt. And then what are the other then masalas? Then you take the red chili powder. Yes. Okay, two teaspoons of red chili yes. powder. Hing, hing. Then no, this is haldi by the way. Haldi, haldi, haldi. So this haldi Aato just, haldi. just a Rasam. pinch, pinch of it. You know, okay. say quarter teaspoon, not yes. more. And then of course you put the dhania powder. We keep stirring. This is a stir pot. Stir pot. Wow, wow. See? But tell me, how, how do you manage to keep it so clean? Just if everything is systematically put, yes. it's fine. Mm. Now you've seen, just see, you've seen that it's become nice and brown. You can see the color difference. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now see what we are going to do. You're we going to are put, going uh, to put watermelon juice. Not what. This is tomato oh, puree. Oh, tomato puree, like oh. I can Amish. also put tomatoes, but I yes. don't because it will take a long time to, yes. you know. So here it goes. Wow, it's beautiful. I, see, this is. Huh? I'm, I'm speechless with admiration. See how it turns now. Now we've got to let this cook. So yes. we'll wait a while and let it simmer. You can close. Oh, you are learning. No, because you just oh. told me in your own way, keep a lid on it. <laughs> <laughs> so we wait for a little while till all of it goes nice and mixed up. Yes, yes. And yes. then what do we do? Then we eat it because <laughs> <laughs> to the rich belong the oils, and to the hungry belong the food spoils. No, then what we put is this. Oh. Now, what is this? Let me guess. This is white nariyal ka pani ka dud. <laughs> right? How right you are! Yes. Somebody must have told no, you. No, you told me this. You Did told I? me this. Yes, we spoke about Zayed climbing okay. the tree. Oh yes. Of yes, yes, yes. What so, is this? This is aubergine. Aubergine. This is. Cabbage, red this is cabbage. The cabbage from the Bronx. Yes, yes, red cabbage. Okay, now see, it's done. Oh wow! This portion. Hey. Huh? Taste ka to pata nahi, lekin khushbu badi lajawab hai. Wow, wow. Khushbu is very lazzat dar. So I've got to put this here. Yes. Now we've got to allow it to cook in its own steam. Like so. Let, let it simmer. Yeah, let it simmer. So. Yes. Little bit of khopra. Khopra ka dud, you know? Khopra, khopra, khopra. So this adds. Taste or color? It adds taste. Now you've got to watch and watch. We shouldn't allow it to burn. It's not burning. So I think about a few minutes have gone by. Now we'll 
add the dahi and let There's it still cook. more stuff to be added yes. wow oh see. wow this never and ends and then we just let it cook in its own steam see this is beautiful i've never seen dahi on a chicken melt away like this is like a <laughs> Mia, Mia korma, Bibi yeah, because in khormas you usually always have to put the at least yes. two large teaspoon, not teaspoon, tablespoon. Tablespoons, yeah. Yeah. Now see the color. The color becomes that rich, creamy color. See. It is. Huh? It's looking like butter chicken. I've never tasted yes. before. But it's only not butter chicken. <laughs> it's khorma. I love dhanta. And now we let it cook. Yes. In its own steam, till all the gravy disappears to a very rich broth. Wow, wow. And when it's that rich broth, see what we do. What? E serve it to everybody or eat it ourselves? Keep it and serve it later. Oh, wow. Have it, huh? Yes, then you I, will I eat get, with me on the table, no? Yes, I would of love course. to. Yes. I would love to. I would love to, seriously. It is. It is. Look at it. Shall we just smell it a little bit? Yes. See, how's the taste? How's not the taste, the smell? How's the smell? <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, it's, okay. It's mesmerizing. Now, now Saj, it's ready to eat. Yes. But again, once more, the final touch. What is the final touch? <laughs> you take this kothmir yes, and kothmir. you put little kothmir or over it like yes, this. Yes, yes, yes. And then yes. you take these chilies yes. and you slip them in half like this, half. Wow. See? Like this, and you put them in here. I don't want to make it too hot, so I'll just keep three chilies just for the moment. Three chilies are more than enough. Ah, okay. Yeah, we will serve ah. it to uh, your next guest. Then we, you help me now pouring this dish yes, into. Yes, I think yes. it's ready. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And now, one second. One second. I'll one do second. It, one second. Good. One second. I'm one very minute. good. One minute. I'm Patience. Very good. Okay. Slowly now put it into the. Wow, this looks beautiful. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. Wow, 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 wow. Maza gaya. Okay. Ah. Wow. This is wow. the exotic look. But nowadays, you know, Zareen, everybody is into egg whites. Nobody wants to eat the no, yellows. No, no, no. See yeah, this. Yeah. Wow. And it's kept a little like this. It's like a Diwali design. I think you've that's made. enough. Beautiful. You won't put the third one. Yes. So here now, this is the final dish, folks. The chicken kurma with the eggs on top. So you want to eat it right away? Yes, yes, ah. yes. We have to wait for a break, right? Okay. So if uh, this is the chicken kurma, and if you missed anything, here's the recap. For chicken kurma, heat six to seven tablespoon oil in a pan. Add two chopped onions. Four to five cardamoms, two to three cinnamon sticks, three to four cloves, and fry till the onions turn brown. Add one one and a half teaspoon garlic paste, one teaspoon ginger paste, three hundred and fifty gram chicken pieces, and mix well. When light brown, add salt to taste, three teaspoon red chili powder, one four teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon coriander powder. Mix well and let it cook for 15 minutes. Add 300 ml tomato puree, 4 tablespoon coconut milk, 4 to 5 tablespoon yogurt, and mix well. Let it cook for 15 minutes on low flame till the oil rises on the top. Sprinkle freshly chopped coriander, 3 to 4 slit whole green chilies, and cook it for 2 minutes. Garnish the dish with boiled eggs cut into halves. Your chicken korma is ready to be served. And now if you want, you can help me take yes. it to the table. Yes, yes, I would I would take it to the table. But who's our next guest? I'm just going to say stay at that so just then, uh, now. Can yes, I can I eat can I, can I eat on the way out? <laughs> can I can I can I just sniff it? Folks, don't go away because we are having our next guest and there's going to be loads of more fun. So see you when we are back. Did we miss anything? Welcome back. I'm going to introduce you to our next guest, producer Krishika Lulla. She is relatively new in our industry, but has made a great impact producing very many successful films with her tycoon husband, Mr. Sunil Lulla. And she's a lady with beauty and brains. And here she comes. Hi. Hi. <coughs> How are you? Good, how so are you? So nice to see you, huh? Come, 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 come and sit down. How are, you, how are you doing? How are you doing? She's a very, very big film producer. I know. Don't touch her feet. Don't touch her feet. Sanjay, please come and sit down. 
बहुत खुशी हो रही मुझे आप सबको ये बताने में कि इस वक्त मैं बहुत टू डिस्टिंग्विश लेडीज़ के साथ बैठा हूँ जरीन जी एंड कृषिका जी एंड ऑल थ्री ऑफ अस आर फ्रॉम जूहू बंगलो बंगलो बिल्डिंग वेलकम ऑन द शो यूर लुकिंग लवली आई मस्ट से दिस इज वॉट इज इट अबाउट जरीन जी दैट हैज ब्रॉट अस इंस्टेंटली ओवे आई मीन ऑल टेक्स इज वन फोन कॉल फ्रॉम जरीन जी एंड वीर ऑल यर I uh, then immediately when I get Zareen's phone call, I just go on a diet because I know she's called me to eat her delectable <laughs> food. <laughs> no, I you know Krishika, she is also a very very special lady. More so because she's a very special friend. How have you raised and become so popular with most of your films being so successful and so fast? Uh, it started with Toonpur ka superhero, huh? with Kajal and Ajay acted in it, huh? and it was first time animation and live action. Uh, which was very so, difficult yeah, yeah it took 3 years for me to make that film mm -hmm. but yes we i learned a lot and i have tried to touch very different genres mm -hmm. like desi boys was different and tanu as manu returns ranjana and uh, i did happy bhag jayegi banjo and i did and i did try my hands in two marathi films too oh lovely <laughs> But she is easily the most beautiful film producer ever. I absolutely yeah. second that, yeah. and of so course sweet. she's running that famous company, Eros International, right? Yeah. Very good. My husband is running. I'm uh, just uh, so working you, under him. Bet today. small, win big. That's her mantra. You know, small budget films which have gone and I mean, Tanu Mets Manu Part Two is a huge. Is uh, I've made Houseful mm. too, but I can easily say that's the highest grossing comedy of all time. Tanu really? Yeah. So which is your next film after Banjo? The next is with Anand Rai. be doing uh, with sharuk oh wow, oh, wow. that will be wow. nice but one question i have to ask you sir anything anything tell me something why are you still not married why ha huh? oh. Find me a nice rich girl. I'll settle down. <laughs> <laughs> you become rich, no? Huh? No, no, girl with a blank check. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it takes a lot of uh, time and effort to be married, and huh? I have come very close to being married huh? many a times in my life. And I, I'm the one who's to be blamed. I would never put it on the other woman uh, or blame them, but. Uh, it just doesn't are work you out. very difficult no i'm not very huh? difficult i'm just very typical <laughs> i'm a typical male who's, who's your there? favorite hero uh, no that's a difficult yes. one that's a difficult question uh, i would say the people who have worked with me they are my favorites they so are all being my biased i have to be somebody uh, has to stand by them yes. and i will always stand by them okay so i can't even ask you who's your favorite hero <laughs> come on that you can say huh? Huh? right now huh? Okay, don't say it. She'll, okay. she'll get into a tough okay, spot okay, because, okay. like her, we all need dates. Yeah. <laughs> Rishika, I would like to ask you one question. What would you say to women who want to be successful in their own lives with whatever they want to do? One thing I think you and me know that women are multitasking. Yes. And uh, we know how to manage our time. And I think it, it's it's all on you. It's all on the mind. Mm. and if you know that you have to give priority to what time and you know and space out your, your time your family my work Business. and even my workout mm. even even it's important to keep in touch with your friends yes. also our friends are very important and that's how we, me uh, we yes. met <laughs> so uh, it's it's very important so if you uh, it's uh, if you make up your mind and be persistent okay now this 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 and be organized i'm sure you can it will be uh, you know in top of a hat you can just do whatever you have to do actually it's like time management right yes, yes, that's course. the way yeah. because people used to ask me also many times uh, i have had four growing up children uh, when i started working as by interior designer and they always used to tell me how do you go about it i said you have to have time management you know when you get up you know when you are with the kids you know when you have to work you know when you have to give time to your husband so it's very important to give the time to e every person equally and make them feel special I i'm getting a feeling i'm sitting in the middle of a of a diploma <laughs> course in a finishing school you know seriously both of you are so classy here no no seriously. we are maybe classy but we are very Thank down you. to earth yeah, also yeah this is the best outfit i yeah. could wear on this show i'm sorry <laughs> yes it brings me to my question about you how do you manage to pull off so many films which have so many very different subjects 
and profitability at the box office. I agreed some of them may have not done so well, but they were different films. You don't do mainstream commercial commercial film, but you take offbeat films and make them successful. How? I, I do believe in the script and I feel like what are you giving to the audience? What are you trying to narrate to the audience? Are you, are you true to your audience, whatever you're doing? And why should they spend so much money and come and watch your show? That has to be in your mind. And you spend so much money promoting those films also. You go yes. all out. Even for the smallest of films, you'll, you guys go all out. Yeah, it's very important. It's just how to reach out to people. Mm. Sometimes uh, everybody is so busy in their life. So just to... We need that promotion to reach out. There's so many social medias and that's how we try and use you know, it. That's how I agree with Zareen, yes. that it's all about time management. Time management, yeah. nothing but time management. Yeah. Believe me, every successful person has to have time management right, especially in the world today. You know, but may I, I say something? I'm yes. sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm intruding over here, but a lot of people tell me Farah multitasks. Yes. She multitasks. Yes. Technically, you are the first pro proper multitasker of the film industry. Well, let me tell you, I think I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You brought up four kids, you ran a house, you were working out there, yeah. you know, you were... I have been in interiors for the exactly. last four decades. Yeah, yeah. And you and always managed to keep a smile. Yes, I have. Because I have friends like you who love me as I love them. And that's very important. And yes. the special food you make. Yes, I that think also that's all part of, you know, if you, I always believe if you give love to others, if you're kind and if you're warm and if you're a happy person, so everybody responds and they all come to you. That's Today, true. you won't believe I have friends in, I mean, my daughter's friends like Krishika and I have my friends like your mother. Yes. And we are all friends. But when I'm with your mom, I'm her age. That's my age. And when I'm with her, I'm her age. So I can just go now on to any time. You're multitasking in age also. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you see? Yeah. And that's all because you've got to just be a happy person. That's when you're happy, the words. happiness flows into your yeah. and system happiness and the house. comes happiness from is... good food. Yes. Which reminds me, can we go to the dining table over there? Absolutely. Let's go in. I'm right very hungry. Now. <laughs> Wow, this looks huh? delicious, delicious. I am very Oh, sorry. Yes. Main ye chaku kar tha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The, this this, is, looks this is the... I love dinosaur chicken. eggs. Oh, chicken. Oh. <laughs> Ch and chicken khurma with chicken. the eggs, wow, boiled wow, eggs. Wow, wow, and wow. this is the chane ki dal. Chane ki dal. Can I have a roti, please? Yes, sure. I'm serving myself. Yes, please. Yes, this is beautiful. This is and beautiful. And this is chalao. Have that get past the bhendi. I love the capsicum. That's bhendi, no? Oh, bhendi, bhendi, bhendi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I once went to the bazaar. Yeah, you're supposed to say, but serve the lady oh, first. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Krishika, catch. <laughs> okay, please pass it here. Yeah, I'll oh, serve. I, I, I'll I'll please. You are yes. my guest, so I've got yes, to help you. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. See, I'm helping myself. So. Yes, 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 that's yes, the yes. way to go ahead. And I'm going to join you, though, as they say, no, if, whoa, you, whoa, 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 whoa. if you. If you. <laughs> If you cook, <laughs> you don't usually feel very hungry. So I'm not hungry because I've cooked. I once but dated I, I dated somebody who was hungry. You know, she was Hungarian. Oh. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yummy. Huh? Food to die for. Mm. Like when Zareen cooks, it's mm. genuinely you can die for that food. And then there is food which you die for. Like when Farah cooks, you eat it and you die. <laughs> <laughs> but it always happens in all our sets. Food is main thing. Especially yeah. if you are my directors. Mm. Naturally. Although... It's like breakfast, lunch, mm. uh, mid uh, snacks, we only talk about food. Yeah, but you know... In the but 70s, when you work hard, I'm, I guess you have you to know, talk but about it's food. Like, it's a feast. Mm. In the seventies, there were kanjus producers mm. who used to tell their unit, "Beta, <laughs> ek boti, do roti. <laughs> That's it, you know. One piece mutton and <laughs> two rotis. That's it. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Not on my set. You no, can yeah, find the this food is, kind of food. Food is yeah. delicious. It's delicious. When I, when I did banjo, it was only mm. Marathi cuisine. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. That tesa. No, that was Maharashtra. The dish used to get for all of us when we were in Dabba. Mm. Take the Teza home and we used to really enjoy it. No, I have a confession to make. My most popular dish, actually it's a snack or it's a dish mm. with Maharashtra cuisine, it's a uh, mm. misal pav. 
Oh. I love misal pav. Mm. I can like eat twenty thousand plates of misal pav. Mm. There's a canteen at Film City which makes misal pav. Mm. It's outstanding. Oh, yummy. It's outstanding. The misal pav over the there is. The next night, huh? Over there, I'm going to think of you, Tajit, and I'm going to attack. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So this food is very very good it's very mm. tasty and the beauty of it is all been cooked in very uh, hydrogenated uh, uh, refined cooking oil so and uh, and uh, exactly it's not too oily that's yeah. the main thing right it's not oily at all it's bengal and bhai mm. i've only eaten in your house and now i'm eating it's yum but ye yaar ye high class society ke logo ko dekho roti bhi in log chamach se khate hain हाथ 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 से 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 खा 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 लो 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 आपकी रोटी में आप काटने की कोशिश करें बहुत बहुत अच्छा अच्छा खाना खाना बहुत अच्छा खाना बहुत अच्छा खाना। your food magic? Well, some of them have, but now you know the modern generation, they do, but it's more anglicized. Young girls like her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we take the recipes from uh, book. Yes, you must. Do you cook? Do you cook? I cook sometimes. What do you cook? Occasionally. Good food. Good food. Sindhi food. Sin no, not Sindhi particular. Baked yeah. and few other things. What do you cook? Baked carrot. Oh, huh, baked nice. Baked carrot cake. Yummy. I've never heard of that before in my life. I, it's high time I leave the show. Okay, no. <laughs> after eating some more. Leave the show. <laughs> after. Can I take some, some rice? Some rice. Let yeah. me give you some rice. Wow, but that's it. That's it. That's it. So these. onions these ah. are these are these are fried onions correct yes. what is it called in the hindi well, word well let me tell you this is brishta brishta it's called brishta to so, agar main isko bolu onion ko bolu aaj main tere liye ek brishta laya hu <laughs> <laughs> and and this is very popular and actually this dish is also a persian dish if you really go to see because it's just to make it look elaborate and nice it's plain white mm -hmm. rice with a little bit of brishta and little kismish thrown on parsi is always like sweet dishes and half parsi ha so, uh, so. I have friends who are half Parsi though. Mm. All my kids are half Parsi, so if you really go to see. Yeah. Yeah. So far and I. Mm. I think your home food cooks uh, the the food is better than any caterer's. But let me assure you, that's been our tradition from the time all my kids have got married. It's always the functions used to be mainly in our house. The food used to be cooked entirely in the house, even if it's for two hundred people. Parad, Mehdi, Sangeet happened in the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hundred people. Two hundred is quite a lot. Well. अभी तो आदत हो गई है यू नो यू यू नो या बट होम एंड से फैक्ट नथिंग लाइक होम फूड फॉर श्योर वॉट टाइप ऑफ फूड डू यू हैव इन योर हाउस वी हैव दिंदी फूड and plus mostly like punjabis how they make the food mm -hmm. and then uh, like uh, like everyone likes different kind of cuisine mm -hmm. yeah we do the thai curry sometimes uh -huh. it Ita uh -huh. italian pastas mm -hmm. and all but uh, actually it's de stressing when you cook yes you have stress it you just forget some, you know at times that's what my husband says you know because when he used to be filming for tipu sultan and for a host of other film productions he used to come in the evening and he used to call all his unit members quite a lot of them yes. and make them sit around him and then they used to make all this hara masala chop and sometimes chicken barbecue but these, and these guys they were well known for not just the films they made but also for the way they treated their units you know firoz khan saab yeah. sanjay khan saab raj kapoor saab All these people, yes. when they made their film, the unit used to be very lucky that they were chosen to be the unit. सबको खाना बहुत अच्छा मिलता था, जो normally नहीं मिलता है. It also makes the unit feel at home. Yes. It does make them feel that it's my film. It's I'm not just here for my daily wages. It's right. my film. I want to go back to the shooting the next day. Yes. I think that is where food connects people. People. Yes. You know? Absolutely. But I think ये कहीं ना कहीं सिर्फ और सिर्फ हिंदुस्तानियों में ये आदत है कि आप एक stranger को भी खाना offer करो. Offer करो. ये world में कहीं नहीं होता. चलो मैं 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 तो 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 स्ट्रेंजर ले कहते ना कि खाने का स्वाद अच्छा हो उंगली चाटता है आदमी उंगली चाट रहा वेरी गुड आई एम सो हैप्पी आई होप यू गाइस एंजॉयड द मील ऑफ़ कोर्स अबाउट आई <laughs> he's the naughty boy but a very sweet no, naughty boy but he's boy. still not given me his mantra which is a, what's it's that it's a break it's 1 2 3 oh my god <gasps> oh <laughs> are you ready 
इजिप्ट इजिप्ट में तो लोग बोलते हैं कि खाने के बाद अगर जितना बर्फ करेगा आदमी को कॉम्प्लीमेंट होता है इजिप्ट में मैं एक बार इजिप्ट गया था गर्ल्स लैप में आई टोल्ड कम बिहाइंड द पिरामिड आई मेक यू मम्मी नाउ वी हैव अ फाइनल राउंड ऑफ द कांसरिंग मशीन इट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ फन क्वेश्चंस एंड हुएवर आंसर्स राइट विल गेट द हैम्पर सो साजिद आर यू गोइंग टू बी ऑन फर्स्ट Yeah, I I love to go first because uh-huh. I told my mum that the, the kitchen was empty and I need that hamper very badly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to take the hamper and go. You don't need it. You're so slim and so beautiful. I need okay, that hamper. Okay, let's not no, fight. No. Let's first start with the first question. Yes, please start. Okay. Supposing in your film mm-hmm. you had a character uh, which was like a bengan. What would you make him do? Uh, I would make him act exactly like me because I think I resemble a bengan. <laughs> <laughs> I right. put on I put on weight anyway. that's because I'm ordering from outside you know there are a lot of apps nowadays uh-huh. food apps uh-huh. so I've become a big fan of those food apps and all the creamy foods you order or the grilled foods only the ones which are deep fried oh. <laughs> <laughs> Krishika what is your first thought that comes when I ask you the word apple I would think about an apple a day keeps a doctor away but if the doctor is smart keep the apple away <laughs> <laughs> well said chocolate chocolate yummy for my tummy so that i would say that i love dark chocolates and i love 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 to eat myself uh, all for me <laughs> she's lying she's What? lying <laughs> she just told me uh, that she hasn't had a chocolate since 1994 really yes i was Now, not who born should i that believe time? So obviously I didn't have that. Time. She hasn't had a chocolate. Why are you lying? She can you just told me you hate chocolate. And she's saying I sometimes my hands they just move towards the fridge and she says I tie elastic to the other hand which pulls it back like this, you know. She does that. I asked her when you watch your own movies don't you have meter popcorn? She said no, never get high on your own supply. Give it to the others. <laughs> Give it to the others. Yeah, Make she sure told me to you... switch to yogurt. Uh-huh. Instead of ice cream uh-huh. I I just told him a uh, good tip Swear on God, when was the last time you had a chocolate? Swear on God, swear on God. I, it's there in my in my purse. You want to see? Oh, madam, the purse. Let me check it. And the credit card, give me. Okay. The next word for you is restaurant. Restaurant. I can think of only food, food, food. Okay. The next word is biryani. I would think of you. Ah, that's. Good. I would just think biryani. कब ज़रीन का फ़ोन आएगा और कब मैं जाऊँ और कब मैं खाऊँ. पर ये बात सच है. You know, आपके बिरयानी के किस्से लोग कहाँ कहाँ तक बात करते हैं? I mean, uh, from your house till one hundred feet away, Juhu. I think it's a special way. Now you have do. to promise me huh. that whenever you make biryani, you have to also think about calling me. That Absolutely. Or just send it packed. Yes. Yeah. No, I would rather have a company with me. Too. Yes. So now yes. back to our next question. What do you think of the word banana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> फाइनल राउंड ऑफ द Boom. What is the Hindi words for take it with a pinch of salt? Bin namak, kamar lagi chamak chamak. You have to come out with something like that. What about cool as a cucumber? Hmm. Khao kakdi, or khao piche se lakdi. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, rub salt on one's wounds. Ah, uh, one rub salt on one. Jale pe namak na chidak na. What? Jale pe namak chidak na. Chidak na. That's a typical. Jale pe namak chidak na. Okay, uh-huh. but it's so boring. Jale pe. Okay, so you say it your way. What would you say? Ah. Uh, Could you pass the salt, please? क्या आप थोड़ा सा नमक पास कर सकते हैं? हमें सामने वाली की आँखों में डालना है. I'm sure. Okay, you said your bit. Now let's ask you. बंदर क्या जाने अदरक का स्वाद ऐसे Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Sir, uh, banda, sir, bande, 
अंडा नहीं वो तो अंडा वो तो अंडा अंडा हो जाएगा था अंडा टोकरी में सब अंडे डाल टोकरी नो टोकरी 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 इफ यू डोंट से टोकरी आई लूज माय नौकरी एंड आई विल नेवर गेट अ टोकरी लेओ अंडा और करो डंडा नहीं अंडे का फंडा अंडे का फंडा दैट इज राइट या वेल फ्रेंड्स यू हैव सीन व्हाट वी हैव गॉट एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी हु इज द विनर I I think it has to be her because she answered the question so beautifully and so elegantly uh, but so she doesn't need the food it? she's on a diet so then shall I give it to him yes okay give it to him Rishika you that's are, what then why don't Rishika, you are dieting and I want to no, die I eating I said I'm <laughs> giving it to you because that's what friends are for yeah I I wouldn't mind that that's an expensive hamper plus I've already sold it outside for 1200 rupees <laughs> I don't know really who to choose because they both been sort of No but I but really I can nice I help you over here Zarin I'd like to be a little bit uh, b- b- you know like a like a like Just chivalrous man. chivalrous and uh. say that i need the hamper uh, i need it you need the hamper yes, i'm thought... a very poor boy from jew you jo jala bahut banglas i am so happy and he is so sweet he is giving it to me yeah. okay shall i do one thing since you've been so sweet on the show what do you say folks shall we give them each a hamper that would be yes, swell huh? that would be swell because i told sure, my mom sure, i'd sure. come i wouldn't come back empty handed but first one i think i'll give it to krishika of course of okay? course of course so here krishika this one is for you and i'm so happy for both of you to be on my show zarin before we leave i just like to say on behalf of krishika also the pleasure was all ours wow. and you're a very sweet lady uh, something which is very rare in bollywood and uh, may the show do very well and any time you need us on the show you're a sweet heart always give us a hamper please Thank be you. here and the food okay yes, the food. any time food. <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the show with sajid and the beautiful krishika lulla There are many more stories and recipes to come so stay tuned to Spices and Secrets and see you soon with lots more of fun friends and laughter